overview of pulmonary hypertension in systemic scleroderma. Pulmonary hypertension is not the same as regular high blood pressure or hypertension, which can be easily measured with a blood pressure test. Pulmonary hypertension is a high pressure in the arteries between the heart and lungs, or pulmonary arteries, and is a type of vascular disease that can be found in people with scleroderma. Primary pulmonary hypertension occurs by itself and not secondary to another illness such as scleroderma. When pulmonary hypertension occurs along with other heart, lung or systemic connective tissue diseases such as scleroderma, it is called secondary pulmonary hypertension. Now this distinction is important because treatments and their effectiveness vary depending upon whether the pulmonary hypertension is primary or secondary. Although Doppler echo can suggest a pulmonary hypertension, it cannot be definitely diagnosed without right heart catheterization. Initially there may be no symptoms at all, but later on symptoms can include shortness of breath, weakness and fatigue with exertion. As it progresses, people become very tired after only slight activity. Eventually they experience right-sided heart failure and death. However, the course of mild to moderate pulmonary hypertension in scleroderma is still unknown and it's possible that it can remain unchanged for long periods of time. Early diagnosis and treatment substantially improves the prognosis for pulmonary hypertension secondary to scleroderma, which is why it's important to be treated by a recognised scleroderma expert. Presented by Amanda Thorpe on behalf of the non-profit International Scleroderma Network at sclero.org.